Yo, yo, ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing? This your boy, Mr. Dane. and I'm coming all the way. We're going to talk about another track called the Nero Drop, man, Patrice Lumumba. See, there is a, a difference between somebody who's lived through the history of the continent to really know what is happening. He can appreciate different people from different angles. You smell me? Before we start that, man, this your boy. You already know, man, I'm coming all the way. Hit that subscribe button, smash the like and the notification, and of course, drop a comment, let a brother know it's good, and please do not forget to share my shit, and please do not forget to let the commercial play if you want to show love to your boy, Mr. J. You dig? Let's not waste a whole lot of time. Let's get into that shit talking right away. I mean... Yo, coming from a long line of warriors, this brother, I like this brother because he always educational shit. You dig? Now, an artist that does this always gets a Check on my book, in my books, y'all, because it's a different thing to listen to hip hop. A whole lot of people get this concept that hip hop has to be about battling this and everything like that. Now, he kicking some, some knowledge in this shit. You dig? Because to talk about Patrice Lumumba, he already talking about they, they robbed us. Who? The Europeans, man. The people who call themselves the Aryan race, but they keep robbing us of our resources. And then when, when we start talking, they kill our Pan-Africanists. They kill all of them. We don't have no Pan-Africanists today. I'm still in the turf rocking with an empty pocket. Survival or the fittest. We strong, man. They're trying to break us, but we standing. They're trying to do shit to us, but we coming. We going to get it either way we can. Any way necessary, we going to do this shit. You dead? Damn. The xenophobia shit, we gotta stop it. I have said this and I will say it again. When an African disregards an African, it hurts. You smell me? That is why I do not stand. Yes, their beef, beef is going on, but when you start calling people monkeys, that is kind of like xenophobic to me. And I take that, I'm very emotional about that shit. I'm not, I'm not afraid to say I get emotional about things like calling a fellow black brother monkeys. He said they're trying to do us the same way they did Patrice Lumumba. If you guys don't know, young generation, go read about Patrice Lumumba from the Congos. This man gave up his life. He fought for the right of his people. But guess what? He was killed. I think they even, they even, I don't even know, man, how you can think about some hateful shit like this. Tomas Sankara, too. Yo, they took him into isolation, propaganda to the masses, full of congregation. They lock him up and throw the key with no medication. Next day, they face the fire squad. He's giving you a history lesson. He was locked into isolation, propaganda and shit, saying how bad this man was, but he was just trying to save his people. He gave up his life. He's a martyr, if you ask me. I mean, the next day they took him on the firing squad and killed him, man. Why? For fighting for the right of his people. And if you look at things critically, they made his fellow brother kill him. Kind of like what happened to Thomas Sankara. This is a this is a wicked world, y'all. They did the same to Thomas Sankara. They go around when when they see an African that is standing for the right of his people, they kill him. It's not just, at first it was the leaders. Now when you talk against 
the West, they put, they put, they blacklist you. You smell me? They start putting an eye on you. That's the, that's the weapon these assholes use, man. Look at what they did to Muammar Gaddafi. Hillary Clinton and France, Sarkozy. The armed fellow Libyans to kill? That's wicked, y'all. It's a problem, man. They made the country look like the Sahara Desert. Dry, resourceless, broke, everything. Everywhere they go is problem. Everywhere problem, 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 problem. Because they, 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 they're kleptomaniacs. They try to grab. So if they see somebody kicking against, ooh, let's kill that son of a bitch. It's crazy, y'all. Let's go, man. This brother Black Jones is singing real good, bro. And he brings the feeling. First verse for Sac for 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 Cal De Niro. He dropped a whole lot of history facts. I'm the kind of brother that when I was growing up listening to rap, when I listen to a rapper say something, I hit the internet to research, to read about. When that name drop, somebody, I mean, they drop this thing, I always try to read about the person. But nowadays, I don't know if the new generation, you have people doing it like we do. Because if you do, go now and hit about, read about um, Patrice Lumumba. This is some knowledge shit. Babylon know that when you strong black people stand, they're always trying to break us. I don't know what we've done to them. Now we have the Chinese doing the same shit. It's unspeakable, but we're going to talk about that shit after one. I had a dream, but I woke up broke. No food. That's the dream. Africans dream all the day, all the time. It's not their, it's not their fault because I always think about this shit, man. How come that we have all the resources? But still, you go to some parts of some countries, you see people broke. You see people that cannot even afford medical bills. So, brother said he had a dream like Martin Luther King, man, but he woke up the same situation. It's every day with hunger in your belly. He talked about Charles Seller. I've grown, he said he went through the hardest shit. He saw shit that, I mean, growing in the period that we know from Sierra Leone and Liberia, it wasn't easy. He said my style is major because he saw his homies dropping out of school and getting an AK-47 from Charles Taylor. The rhyme scheme, but the content, the message, is tough, man. These people were arming kids as young as seven, eight, to fight and kill. Every time, man, they go for labor. People, innocent mothers perishing when they go to the hospital. Infant mortality rate is crazy. Childbirth rate is crazy because they robbed everything. And he's saying some of these people, they rob and they act like they're doing us a favor. Some of these asshole leaders. This is tough. This is crazy. You dig? It's a, it's, it's, it, this is a sad, this is a sad word, y'all. Trust me. Nobody's here yet for the Holocaust. Lumumba story can be any one of us. When you speak out, that's why I say, my nigga, I hope they're not gonna put an eye on you for this. 
Now, I mean, indeed, Patrice Lumumba's story can be any one of us. But now, instead of the colonial master directly instructing, they are going to your fellow brother, your fellow sister. Why would a president take a journalist who speaks against some of his nonsense policies and put him in jail and let there to rot? Why would a, 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 an African leader now, when you kick against uh, the colonial masters, the way they treat you and the mindset they put, the mechanisms they've left to rule your country, you carry that person, you exile, you put in jail. Why? Why would we have brothers and sisters traveling, taking the Mediterranean and dying, running away from home, wishing for a better home? In a stranger's land, and some of them actually do make a better home there. It's tough. He was never from the church of God on the Lord of Trust. He was my hero from the Congo. Who was crucified so they can steal and get them things that they put up your He was my hero from the Congo. Patrice Lumumba is well old school like us, cow. People above 30 years old, we know that shit. Above 33, man. We know that. We know, I mean, but this generation sometimes they don't I mean it's not your fault. You grew up in a in a messed up time. You smell me, but yo, he's my hero too. Patrice Lumumba, Tomas Sankara, and the brother from Mozambique, man. It's crazy. The guy who was killed in the plane, coming from uh, the guy who helped uh, 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 um, Zimbabwe, Mugabe, when Mugabe was already coming up, Samora. It's tough, man. But see, kids don't even know these people nowadays. They don't. On your phone, shit you don't know. I guess you're just happy with your wife and your Volvo. I put my fist up for the moon, but Kwame Kuma vibing to some Whalers music. Smoke my cigar, man. Oh, he vibing to Whalers. Bob Marley and the Whalers, bro. I vibe to that shit too. Peter Torch. But you see, he sent a subliminal message. <laughs> Did you guys catch the message? I guess you're just happy with your. Your wife and your Volvo. Man, you slick. You slick, man. You slick, bro. But, fist up, Black Power, Patrice Dumumba, Dr. Kwame Kruma, Ahijo from Cameroon, if you guys don't know that, Nelson Mandela. Africa is, is filled with them. Oh, my God. That we can go on and on and on and on. But that's a topic for a different day. As I'm traveling to that Lumba, rest in peace, yo, Patricia Lumba. Yeah, all the heroes have died. That's crazy. All the heroes are being killed. It's not even that they're dying, man. Some of them would still be alive today. Trust me, they tried to take Mandela out, but Mandela was a resistant spirit, y'all. Yes. They don't die, bro. I would like to fix that part. Oh, our heroes are assassinated. They were assassinated. They didn't die out of their wish. You smell me? Job bless. Too many people in the loop. Wake up, you go to sleep, wake up, go to work, come back home, go to sleep, wake up, go to work, come back home, go to sleep, in the loop, but still not rising. That is tough. Situations are limited. And caused by who? Our own brothers, our own people, leaders, which we voted for. This is this is a powerful message, bro. This is powerful right here. Patrice stood for the people. He did good for the people. Look what he did to the people. Hey yo, man of it for living legal. All my people struggling, still believe hope. They did this, they're trying to break this. It's, man, your message is very touchy because growing up as a kid, man, I grew up in these times. I mean, I grew up in these times when these crises were happening. It's tough, bro. It is tough. The economy can destroy the economy. More than robbery. Still stuck in poverty. Yes, he died because he gave a speech. Still 
speeches always kill people in Africa. Strong, powerful speeches kill people in Africa. Robbing us of the economy, trying to put the, the Africans, African leaders have borrowed so much money from China that I think they might just end up just giving part of the country to China. Watch. Watch. It's tough, bro. Why every day we hustling? You do everything right, but we're still facing defeat. Back in the days, they catch the leaders and kill. But the world is so advanced that people record, put things on Twitter, on internet, in social media that that will go viral and cause a whole lot of actions and movement. What they do now is they squeeze your nuts through your economy. They put sanctions. When you say I want to be, my, look at what is happening. France is 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 pissed off from the fact that a whole bunch of African leaders try to, they say, no, we tired, we done, CFA. And you think that the doctors who said that nonsense about testing uh, the vaccines in Africa was playing? This is a strategy, man. It is a strategy. They are annoyed that the people are Africans are waking up. Strong message, man. Patrice Lumumba, man. Bro, you should do something about Thomas Sankara and Muhammad Gaddafi, bro. I mean, let's school this young generation. I mean, and Samora too, man. The brother who was killed in a plane crash and they played. We know you guys, they took him down. The West, we know. That's my time, ladies and gentlemen. I, this is some good stuff, man. We we are being entertained. Y'all just keep that shit coming, man. Don't relent. This lockdown just let some of us feel at home by listening to some of this shit, man. I'm talking at home because when you when you are far away from motherland and you hear shit like this, man, I, I revolt every day. You dig? I love you guys. Hit that subscribe button, smash the like, and the notification. And I hope you, you do let the commercial play. From me to you guys, I love you, man. Shout out to everybody out there, man. East, West, South, Central, man. Let's stay woke because they're still trying to manipulate us through our old ass septuagenarians. It's crazy. Peace, man.